On the 7th of February 2014, I was then diagnosed with breast cancer in my right breast, and they call it lobular carcinoma, which is then a hormone-dependent type of cancer. It was a shock. Um, especially because I've considered myself as always trying to be healthy, being fit, um, doing training all my life. When I went for a normal, just a gynecological checkup, um, and he gave me that piece of paper and said, listen, you're at the age where you have to do regular checkups of a mammography. And I thought, well, okay, I've been there twice before. There was never something wrong, so, oh, but, but I'll do it. And when I went, they discovered this lump and I was still convinced, ah, it's maybe just a gland or something. Obviously, once you hear this, you want just to get rid of this. You know, I, I just wanted this um, malignant tumor to be removed. Luckily, also with me, I was diagnosed phase one. I had no family history of, of breast cancer at all. So um, they regarded it as not such a risk to operate immediately. And I think it's also a way for your whole system to get used to what you've got to deal with and battle with. I thought after the surgery, actually, I'm done with cancer. It's removed, it's over. Only then to hear, no, no, you'd rather have, still have to go through the radiation. The radiation was uh, causing a lot of fatigue and it was also whilst working every day, Monday to Friday, an hour you must put aside, which I said it's my lunch time that I just then had to set aside. A lot of the staff at work, my colleagues, I had such great support from them. I would go there and say one more day to go or 10 more to go or 10 done, so many to go. And they were all like working this with me and it, you, you become actually close to people that you never suspected you would. Then when that was done, I thought, okay, now I've covered all bases. And then they, the oncologist told me, no, but it's better as a precaution because of my cancer being hormone dependent that I have um, a, a medication, I must take medication. And unfortunately, the medication that they usually then get for this type of cancer is uh, tamoxifen. It has a lot of side effects and I said to them in February this year it was a bit too difficult so um, they changed my treatment plan then to injections. I'm taking it slow now. I'm, I'm, I've reassessed this, this treatment as well and it's, again it's not about Clinically, the doctors want to do the best for their patients, but I must also listen to my inner self and, you know, make that call. Luckily also, I didn't need chemotherapy, which I was really, really grateful for. It was um, a blessing. And it's still emotional for me. It's a journey. It's, there's good days and there's bad days. There's times that you can deal with it and say, I'm, I'm, I'm well, I'm, I'm actually so grateful, I'm healthy. Don't ever take it for granted that if you don't have a family history that you can't get cancer. Um, or that you've been for one or two uh, mammograms and you're fine, you know, um, there wasn't something wrong. Don't take it for granted. Go annually, even though that you are healthy. Go for those checkups because it's rather safe than sorry. I can really say also that I'm blessed with kids and a husband that, and family that really supported me. They just said, you're rid of it, we've done and over with this cancer, you know, they're very positive. Uh, I often said years ago to my children, which is quite harsh, but that's a kind of a motto that I lived by. I've got three words for you, deal with it. And that's it, that's life, you know, build a bridge and get over it because life don't owe you anything. I just think one must live life daily to the fullest. <laughs>